this may be the most famous XR650 ever. It's gotten over a half a million views on one video. This is the one the Manic Mechanic Jr. and the guy's been working on. And uh, awful lot of time and effort went into building this bike right here. It's basically brand new, just turned 2,000 miles. It's never been off-road, yet uh, Justin Smith put about 1,800 coffee shop miles on it. It now has 2,042. And when you just look at it, I mean, the picture is worth a thousand words. This thing is absolutely freaking pristine. And the real magic is in the engine on this. And we'll put the video on here. Dyno proven 15 horsepower over stock. That was a 50% gain. 50% gain. They're really corked up from stock, but the magic was in the port. So we, we had a, a video series of Jeff building this and actually before and after in the dyno, 30 rear wheel horse, 30 bone stock, stock. 29 stock and then with the anti-smog kit, it just broke 30. Yeah, and uh, after uh, the top end kit, we bumped the compression up, bore it out to a 670, but the XR's only pipe on it. And with uh, Jeff's proprietary in-house in uh, porting, we made over 50% gain to the rear wheel and the product was this just unbelievable torque curve these xrs you ride them down low and this bike just has mountains of torque down low this is i've i've told seniors several times this is the, my favorite street bike that i've ever ridden and it's it, it's all in the torque curve you know you how many just, bikes you've ridden thousands literally thousands it it's just gobs of power down low you don't have to over rev it it doesn't like to be over rev this is a sunday rider you and the old lady you jump on it you go down to the beach it's docile when you want it to but if you want to do wheelies at 25 to 300 3, rpm to 85 miles an hour <laughs> um it, you, you can literally get up in a wheelie in first gear and carry that wheelie um up through 65 70 miles an hour without dropping it down i mean it's just complete it's just effortless and uh, for cruising around town, this is... Um, to compare this to a stock 250, the stock, our stock 60, the stock ones, frankly, suck. They come terrible. completely corked up, very lean, and they're only putting down 29 horse at the rear wheel. And they're really hard to wheelie. Actually, they're, they're actually not that bad for You wheelie. can wheelie them, but this but one's I, a whole lot easier. This is a whole different ball game. One. So Jeff got this off the bench, and we rode it less than 200 miles like literally right here around in Rockville. It was never ridden uh, in the dirt, ever. Uh, maybe across on, on the uh, uh, across the grass once or twice, but it was never ridden off-road, certainly never in the trails. There's some photos of the frame rails, which have not been touched up in the in the eBay ad. The frame rails are like, perfect. Now, like Junior said, um, yeah, these have never, never been skated by dirt. Now, like Junior said, we only put 200 miles on it since the engine build was done, and a lot of that was tuning and testing, and. Um, dyno runs and, and getting it absolutely perfect and it is mark my words is absolutely perfect and what we just did that has less than two miles on it are these brand new top of the line michelin anakees guys prices said of these that they're a little pricey but they're the best dual sport tires you can get i've got them on my 650 and i've got them on on the uh, klr 60. we also put the gold and black super sprocks uh, sprocket and a brand new gold chain on it so it's got new sprockets on it new chain brand new tires didn't need them but we just wanted to, this kind of a bike deserves the best running gear money combined. yeah with, the, with those brand new rental bars we just put these on, on these are the cr highs the stock bars suck they're too small and it's cramped this gives you a lot more uh um elbow room on the bike but you upgrade it to the pro grip 801s it's got the rental crossbar pad it's got the uh uh honda uh, key ring on here uh, we also put a brand new Michelin Anarchy on the front. You can see it is brand new, brand new tire and tube. Again, they weren't worn out, but these are way better than the stock tires. We also upgraded to the IMS Super Sport. These pegs are light years better than the stock ones. So all the stuff you'd want to do to an XR is done. These are the IMS Super Stock pegs. I absolutely love these. I put these in all my bikes. Um, the stock teal, steel tank is absolutely pristine not a scratch on it justin if you know justin smith and you watch our videos he's meticulous about his bikes that's why we chose this as the one to build the seat cover is perfect the tool pouch is perfect it's got the stock unfettered with rear uh, um, fender and you can see this bike's never been dropped it's never been laid down even once so 
It's basically brand new and it's got the best engine build of any, any like I said in the start of the video, half over, how many views on the video, Junior? Yeah, it's over half a million views and I'll tell you, there's not a week that goes by that someone doesn't ask us uh, through the website, hey, can I send you my head to, to have that, you know, that same package done and, and uh, or hey, can I buy that bike? There's probably a dozen people on the list of, that, that have asked it, you know, asked for um, if this bike was available for sale. So guys, your time has come. It's yeah, for sale. It's, it's, it's coming up for sale. Now we also tried the full XR only header system with the larger header pipe and it actually lost horsepower. This isn't pie in the sky. We're not saying the bike has 20% more power. We have dyno proof, 50% improvement over stock. 30 to 45 rear wheel horse and a massive jump in torque. It's all in the video. So what Watch we saw the was the XR's only header pipe. We lost a substantial bit of torque in the in the low to mid range. It was outrageous. It, and all that lost torque down low just for not even, there was no gains up top. There weren't we any- lost, We lost horsepower. Yeah, we, 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 we lost power. So we put the stock uh, header pipe back on and this is the best combination that it's been desmogged and um, the, 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 the kit is normally on this side. It right just, just flowing a lot better, and the and Mega Cycle did a phenomenal job the with the cam work. K4, it's got the Makuni pumper carb, K N filter, free 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 flowing intake carburetor. The heads have been done by none other than the Manic Mechanic. The cam was sent out to Mega Cycle. We have the receipt. It was a thousand seventy six dollars to have the cam uh, profile done to just spec. So the, the cam was done. The rockers were done. Jeff, Jeff ported the valves that's on the video, so he ported the head. Yeah, it's um, a four angle valve job and then a pretty aggressive port as well. And that's all on video. That uh, If you go in the uh, uh, description, look at the auction here uh, for this bike, you'll see the original videos on this bike Im embedded. Uh, the start of the build and then the second video is us building the motor and then putting it on the dyno. And the, the piston is a JNE Forged 670cc big bore piston. So this, this thing's pumping out 670 cc's of rip your house off foundation stump ripping four stroke thumper torque it's, and it's an absolute monster i'd have to refer back to the video but we got i think it was 11 and a half or 11 7 to 1 compression ratio which is tremendous and you can you can run pump fuel with this with this uh uh ratio right now it's running a 94 uh vp small engine fuel it's non-ethanol Ethanol free fuel. And so it, it's fantastic. it doesn't require high test. You can run pump in this bike and, and go touring on it. You can yeah, go. The, it, I wouldn't recommend leaving pump fuel in it for more than Never. more than a week. <laughs> Tops. Uh, we don't we don't use pump gas on our bikes. We run. We're a VP dealer. We run VP. You can see it's got new uh, DOT brake fluid. Uh, all the fluids are new. Front, front, front rear brake fluid. The engine oil is new. Uh, it's been changed several times in 2,000 miles. Twice since we built the motor. It's absolutely ready to go, man. Let me show you some of the documentation I have. Fuck with me. Guys, th this is the, the receipt from Mega Cycle Cams. This is, they built this cam to Jeff's spec, welded and grinded the, the customer core. We had a Centimark cam. The bottom line was 1,076 dealer cost just for the cam and the rocker arms. So, um, and I've got full provenance. I've got the original owner's manual. I've got all the, the tips and all the, the, the um, stuff you get from Honda when you buy a new motorcycle, including the title, uh, clean title. And uh, all the Honda documentation, the motorcycle riding tips, the um, owner's manual, the stupid Hertz manual, which I probably should review that. <laughs> uh, and of course, the actual bill of sale, brand new. Um, the, the spare key, it came from our friends at Manchester Honda. The odometer disclosure statements of the full provenance, the original manufacturer's certificate of origin, the, the original dealer inspection. Um, full, how many videos do we have on the build series? Full video documentation, there's a playlist for it, right? Yeah, I think we have like five or six. Five videos documenting the whole build process. Um, they've gone up in a bit in price since then, but it was 7,945, we'll call it eight grand out the door for the bike new. Um, and, and this bike is absolutely identical to the 2022s. They haven't changed anything, but you've got upgraded Tires, uh, upgraded pegs, upgraded bars, all, all the contact points on the bike have been upgraded. Um, and it's got a brand new, one of the best XR motors I've ever ridden, and I've ridden some good ones in my days. This is the uh, work order. It came to a total of $5,520 for, for the, the engine build. 
and all the accessories we've done to the bike. So it was Jeff had 16 hours in the building the motor, four hours in the in the shop doing all the other upgrades and the detailing and everything else. Bike was just steam cleaned, hand washed, uh, polished. They got two coats of Carnuba wax on the tank. Everything's been cleaned up, super nice. Um, it's basically like it just came out of the box. Also, the the dyno runs we had done. Uh, the base dyno runs to find out the base horsepower, so we knew what gains we were kind of getting. The motor was pulled, completely dismantled, uh, out of the frame and dismantled. The top end was bored and honed to 670. Went through the whole valve system, ported the air inlets, reassembled the, and installed the motor back into the frame, jetted the carb, installed the silencer, and then dyno tested it with, with two different pipes until we came up with the best combination. So, as I mentioned, IMS Pro Foot Pegs, Super Sport Sprock Sprocket, uh, Sunstar 520 Gold Chain, Michelin Anarchy Tires, Program 81s, RC bars, all that's brand new. Uh, the ODI bar mount adapter, um, XR's only silencer, uh, the piston kit, and the full top end gasket kit. So the, the total um, parts and labor was $5,520 in the build. We could wallpaper our, our office here with the amount of people that have called phone numbers of the people who called that wanted this engine build done on theirs. We, we can't we just can't do it we don't have the time to do it we've got a two-year backlog but this is the blueprint this is the way to do it guys this this thing is the best xr 650 engine i've ever swung a leg over and well it's now a 670 but um here's the title clean title in hand we can finance this for you too uh you can tell them about that yeah freedom road financial uh you can call for a pre-approval it's a soft credit pull won't affect your credit 860-471-0192 and we can ship it anywhere in the states inexpensively message your zip code for a shipping quote we can get you hooked up get it on the road uh delivery in seven to ten days from booking no matter you, where you're at if you want to buy the gift that keeps giving for yourself this christmas or someone in your family uh how about the best XR670 in the country? And this, there's nothing better than this. It's fresh, brand new, done right, and dyno proven. I mean, the, show me, a, show me a better one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see any out there. And, and we look so, um, it's ready to rumble. And you can do whatever you want. You want to put Olins on it from here, or Supermoto tires. You can go any direction you want with it, or leave it the way it is and ride off in the sunset. bike on the planet to do wheelies on man these things are an absolute hoot and don't forget scott summers won multiple national championships in the gncc off-road series on the same exact frame so even though it's got street legal uh lights on it and everything this is extremely capable off-road far more capable than the new uh the klr 650 or the xr 650 or Kyle wiping out in the driveway are you good Woo. Hey, zoom in zoom in zoom in <laughs> oh my god. Are you sure you're good? Hope I got on the pipe. You get a little excited for two truck Tuesday. <laughs> Guys, one of the most winningest engines ever. Not only did it win the Grand National Cross Country Championship with Scott Summers twisting the throttle 16 times. Baja. Uh, 1,000 champion, 16 times. And we actually have a sticker made uh, commemorating that, but uh, these things are absolutely awesome. On-road off or off-road. One of the most fun bikes, like Junior said, one of the most fun bikes you could ever, ever have to ride. bulletproof big bore four-stroke engine ever made it's been proven they started with the xr 350 then the 500 then the 600 and the 650 these things are just absolutely indestructible the 670 big bore kit gives you power from 
right off idle, right to red line, and it, it'll wheelie on command. And it'll actually, it's actually as easy to ride as a stock one with 50% more power. Can't think of a better engine ever made for doing wheelies. What are your thoughts? Agreed. Anyways, I know it's getting cold out. He wants to go in, so give us a call if you have any questions. 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. God bless America.